Hello. Today I'm going to talk to you about the type of teas I have. I'm a huge tea drink drinker. I've got all kinds of tea that I've collected over the years for all different purposes. I've got fruit tea and herbal tea as well as teas from different parts of Europe like Romania and the Czech Republic as well as tea that help you sleep and relax you as well as the traditional English type of teas that you use with milk so the first thing I'm going to show you is some of my favourite really unusual teas from Romania So this tea is a is called Fruits of the Forest Fructe de Padore and it's a really beautiful sweet tea that gives a really deep rich berry flavour. That's what the tea bag looks like inside. So Fructa de Podore, they use drink a lot in Romania. This is another type of tea, another brand, again Fructa de Podore. And this one, Chai Aroma de Fructa de Padore is yet another Romanian brand. And the way you drink these teas is much the same as you drink other teas. You simply put the tea bag in and put hot boiling water on and let it infuse for a few minutes. In Romania, if you ask for tea, that's the tea they will bring you rather than the traditional black tea with milk. So the default tea in Romania is fruit tea, which is really lovely and refreshing. And at the same time, it's a really lovely warm drink in the winter time. And this is yet another type of tea which is again a Romanian fruit tea with a lovely heart shape in there and it's a loose leaf tea so you put it in a strainer before and this is another example of a Romanian loose leaf tea which is strawberry flavour and this one blueberry flavour the last example of Romanian tea I'm going to show you is this one Chai de Tai Cu Zamure sorry Zamura I'm not really so good on Romanian but I am learning and this is a strawberry uh, raspberry flavour. Again, this is a lovely, another lovely uh, sweet fruit tea 
but it's probably a little bit too sweet for me. I prefer the fruits of the forest. The next type of tea I'm going to show you today is a tea from the Czech Republic and this is especially for pregnant women. Um, I won't even attempt to pronounce the that writing. I can't speak Czech Republic <laughs> or I can't speak Czech. Um, but this is meant to complement all the hormones that are around in the body during pregnancy and is really good for pregnant women. I haven't tasted this one yet. And some more examples of some Czech teas. selection here. I'm sure you can get some speciality teas for pregnant women in your country. I know in Britain they do what's called women's tea but the ones I really like are the ones specifically for pregnancy. So there's Leros. But this is a, a Czech version of a berry tea. And this one is called Mother and Child Baby Tea. But I don't really think it's for babies. I think it's for breastfeeding mothers. And here's another brand of breastfeeding tea. I've yet to taste the breastfeeding ones. I'm still pregnant. I've got three months left to go. So those were the Eastern European teas. I'm going to show you some other ones I have, some really unusual ones. Um, so far all the teas I've shown you are caffeine free, so you can drink as much of these as you like if you want to cut down on caffeine. This is a really fun one. It's really popular in the UK and it's called Tea Pigs. And it's lemongrass, don't know if you can see that there. Um, and these are biodegradable. So you simply use these just the same as a loose leaf tea and pour the water over it. And it's a beautiful, refreshing lemon flavour that's really good if you need to recharge your batteries. I'm just going to put these this way in this little box. And the next type of teas are probably the ones that you'd recognise and that are really common and really popular in the UK. So I've got good old chamomile tea, Sainsbury's brand, 
these are really if um, you like chamomile tea but you need to budget a bit a lot of people think that buying a speciality brand you'll get a better flavour and the supermarket owned brands you don't get a better flavour but actually tasting one cup after the other of a speciality brand and a supermarket brand I honestly can't tell the difference chamomile is really great for relaxing and they say if you have trouble sleeping then you drink lots of cups of chamomile before you go to bed normally two or three and that should relax you although having said that you might not want to drink too many cups so you'll be awake anyway to go to the toilet so that's probably not the best plan but certainly chamomile is really good for relaxing and because it's a herbal tea um, it's not as sweet as some of the fruit teas and some people like to put a bit of uh, honey or sugar in but I don't have a sweet tooth so I drink it on its own some brands say you infuse chamomile tea for three to four minutes but it's really up to you depending on the strength you like so I was talking about speciality brands and actually this is one Twinings, which is really popular in England and this tea is specifically if you want a tea to really calm you and it's blended with chamomile um, ruby boss lavender and actually cocoa beans so it's really lovely and calming relaxing and it's a new recipe I'll show you what it looks like inside so these these are individually wrapped packets And these are great um, if you don't want to fish out tea bags with a spoon or with your hands if you have really thick skin because um, these are on a string. familiar with different types of teas to do to help you to create different senses and um, states of mind. Some of you may well be familiar with the Dr. Stewart's brand of tea. Um, this is Tranquility Tea and again it's caffeine free and it's meant to promote feelings again of calm and relaxation and to really put you in a, a lovely, chilled, tranquil state. And on the same brand, for those of you who have such trouble sleeping, Dr. Stewart's also have a Valerian Plus tea. And actually the Valerian herb is used in a lot of medication for people who can't sleep. So if you have insomnia and you have a lot of trouble sleeping and you don't want to get some sleeping pills from the doctor you can get herbal supplements from your local pharmacy or chemist or supermarket and what you'll find is that a lot of these herbal supplements will have valerian in 
because again these promote sleepy drowsy feelings and it's lovely just before bedtime Another speciality tea, which is one of my favourites, is from Clipper. And Clipper are a really good speciality brand, actually. Um, not just because they're organic, but because they tend to be fair trade, so you know that what you're getting, they're actually paying the farmers who harvest the tea a fair wage. So it's a really ethical tea as well. Clipper tend to be a little bit more expensive than a lot of other brands though. Um, this particular one is lemon and ginger and as well as being a refreshing drink um, it's really good for nausea so if you suffer from car sickness you might want to have a cup or two before you go on a long journey. Or even um, it's lemon and ginger is really great for morning sickness too, which is what I found. And some, I've got some uh, different brands here too. Um, you can't get these in any other country other than the UK. These are these are actually homemade in Norwich, in East Anglia, in the UK. Um, and although Darjeeling, a lot of you will be familiar with, you can get Darjeeling from almost any brand in the UK and indeed abroad. Um, these are specially brewed and blended in a little tea shop in Norwich, which is uh, which is really quintessential English style and it's really relaxing. Um, you can see the different teas in jars and you feel like you're going back in time. And from the same shop, um, I got some peppermint tea as well. Peppermint tea, again, is meant to be really good for nausea. Um, and also for trouble, if you have trouble sleeping. So if you don't like the taste of chamomile and you're not too keen on valerian, then peppermint is another alternative you might want to try. And probably one of the most strangest teas I have, which for obvious reasons I don't use anymore. And I don't actually know if it works, is thirty fertility tree, tea rather not tree, sorry, um, and this is a tea for preconception and the way it works is it's a blend of different herbs that actually um, boost the hormones in your body that are used for reproduction and conceiving and they use a whole variety of uh, ingredients that's meant to be fertility enhancing and the idea is that you drink these instead of normal tea um, three to four cups a day um, and it's meant to improve your chances of conceiving I want to show you or selection of tea is a really uh, great gift as well and it's a quintessential English selection so it comes in this lovely packaging this is a metal tin it's from a London tea company and down the side it's got all the different teas that it offers and contains and they range from uh, my favourite Earl Grey, an English breakfast, to
to chamomile, lemongrass, elderflower. And it comes in a really great selection box. So to just go through some of these. And what's really great about this gift is you can get it anywhere. I know it's available on Amazon. Um, it's that again, it's organic and fair trade. And it's got some really lovely blends. So this one, for example, is uh, white tea, uh, elderflower and apricot. So it's probably a flavour that a lot of you wouldn't necessarily have tried before. And I don't think you can get it in any other brand. And then you have the lovely peppermint tea. one of my favourites. This one is green tea, mango and ginger and it's a really unusual flavour. It's um, refreshing but it's also got a slight kick to it. And of course, of course you have chamomile tea. and chamomile and lavender and because chamomile and lavender both of these types of herbs are really great for relaxing and promoting feelings of calm and tranquility this is probably a fantastic tea to try before bed if you want to have a really great night's sleep Um, one thing I haven't mentioned is it also has green tea. And you can get green tea anywhere in the world and it's become really popular. It's, I believe it's a Japanese tea. And then you have the traditional... breakfast tea which is lovely a really rich flavour to have any time of day it doesn't have to be at breakfast and my absolute favourite tea is Earl Grey which is a really subtle perfumey flavour so that's my tea tour hope you've enjoyed it and it's given you some ideas for different types of tea that you might want to try and get yourself. <laughs>